So the uranium trade has not taken off as I perceived it would all those years when I made that initial video. I think it's been about two years. My best analogy for this is like the slumbering bear hibernating all the way throughout winter and when he does finally awake devouring everything in his path. That's what I feel will happen with the uranium spot price. It's in hibernation mode and will it be next year? I hope so where it wakes up and starts demolishing everything in its path. And I feel we as investors really need to capitalize on this hibernation mode secure our thesis and our belief of where uranium will go and basically double down on the companies that we are bullish on. Therefore today we will be looking at energy fuels. Energy fuels is the leading producer of uranium in the USA. If you want a US producer, energy fuels is your best bet. We expect the uranium price to rise significantly higher which will incentivize the supply of new production. So Energy Fuels has the largest uranium resource in the US. It currently produces around 170 pounds a year and can increase the output given the market conditions. The management team has done an exceptional job with Energy Fuels so far. Despite the depressed levels of uranium spot price for years, the company is now debt free and they have managed their resources extremely well. So that's a big plus to the management who have basically steered this company through very difficult times with the spot price being so depressed. So that's a big plus for the management. Secondly, the management has also realized that there's a real gap for rare earths in the US market. As we know, rare earths are dominated by China. But given the tension with the US and China, the US has really needs some kind of domestic production for rare earths. As we know, rare earths are a component in basically every single technology that we use today. So this is a big catalyst for the company. Energy Fuels has the capacity to significantly increase its uranium production from its multi-asset resource base. The company can produce more uranium in the US than anyone else, if the price is right. Their three uranium production facilities combined have a license capacity of 11.5 million pounds of uranium per year. But given the depressed uranium price, those pounds have stayed in the ground, which is a great benefit to energy fuels because they can really capitalize on that spike in the uranium price. Because once uranium price gets to a good level, they can start mining that, that uranium and then start selling it at that higher price. Lastly, the company owns the only conventional uranium recovery facility, which is the White Mesa Mill operating in the US. Energy Fuels will soon process monetize at the White Mesa Mill to recover the contained uranium and produce a mixed rare, rare earth element. You have to take into account maybe other companies around Energy Fuels which are also mining for uranium. They will actually probably be using the White Mesa Mill to monetize their, their uranium. So energy fuels will get a kickback from that as well. So that's a, another big plus. The risk associated with energy fuels is one is the uranium spot price. The uranium spot price really needs to start climbing higher for this company to start being able to really take full advantage of its uranium assets. Secondly, the rare earth element is still in its infancy. So we will see how that goes. And if they can really smash that out of the park, if they can get that right, this company has a lot of growth in its future. I can see this company being on par with, uh, if it gets the rare earth sector correct, with, com with uh, peers such as Linus, which is over in the Australia, which is also doing rare earths. And that valuation is around 5 billion US. So this company has quite a way to go if it can get, if everything aligns, this company can be a very good cash cow.